Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In this episode, we are going to learn a new operator which is called debounce time. We'll learn what is debounce time, what are the use cases where we'll use it, and more so from today onwards, I will start integrating all the RxJS learning into Angular applications. Which means when you start actually working in any enterprise applications, you will be able to make use of this knowledge and these tutorials in your real-time applications. Without wasting any time, let's get started. This is part 10 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. I'll request you to kindly subscribe to my channel. I see a lot of you uh, watch my videos, but please do subscribe and like these videos. That is my motivation. Thank you in advance. Today we are in episode number 10, learning operator number 5, which is debounce time. If you are new on this particular channel, please do check out the previous um, episodes. Uh, they are in the playlist. So what is debounce time? So debounce time is emit a particular notification or emit the data after a certain time span. Right. So think in simple words, if I have to tell you, if you want the data to be emitted after a certain time, you can use debounce time. Okay. Now that sounds very simple, right? We can use set time, set timeout or something like that. But set timeout is basically works with a function, whereas here debounce time will emit a observable. That's the difference. So how do we use it in real time applications? Let's get started and I will show you that. But before that, let me write some use cases where this is used. So let's say in your application, you have something like search, right? Um, search functionality, right? So what user will do is user will type the values, right? But if there is someone like me who types really fast, you don't want that a those many API calls, right? You might want to capture a few keys and then process it, right? So those are the use cases where you might want to delay or uh, you would say that de uh, give some time. I would say emit the next observable after a given period of time. Okay, that is exactly what is debounce time. So I'm going to show this uh, example in Angular application today. Okay, so again, like I said, this can be used in multiple use cases. We'll start with this. So this will give you a perfect idea of how it is to be used. Okay, let's get started. For this, I'm going to create a new component uh, and I'm going to call it search. Okay, so it's kind of real time implementation. I'm trying to show you that. So that's why I'm creating a new component. You can use it in any existing component also. Uh, in quickly routing, I'm just throwing, going to throw in a route and I'm going to call it slash search. Right. So I'm trying to replicate this as close to a real world use case. So here I'm going to say search component. Right. Nothing fancy. Just added a route. If you are new to Angular, please do check out my Angular tutorials. I have covered a lot of details and a lot of uh, uh, use cases in detail advanced as well. So it will really help you. While this is getting served, I will request you kindly subscribe to my channel. I see a lot of you are watching videos. Thank you for that. Those who have already subscribed. Thank you. Uh, please do share these tutorials with your friends and colleagues and help them as well. All right, enough of that. I have to say something because this is building. <laughs> I hope. Meanwhile, do let me know how are you finding the tutorials. I, I always love to read your comments. I always feel encouraged when seeing your comments. All right, so our application is compiled. We have a route which we are calling slash search. It is pointing to search component, which is nothing but just say search works. OK, so a good way is to quickly go and check here and say search. So it says search works. Perfect. So this is our starting point. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put a H2 tag and I'm going to say search with RxJS. OK, so this is something that I've saved. Now I'm going to go ahead and implement the template. OK. So for that, what I'm going to do, throw in a quick form. OK, so I'm going to say div and I know that I'm going to need a form group. So we can assign something on this. I'm going to say search form, close the div. Now I'm going to put in an input type, 
equal to text and then I'm going to give a form control name that's what we give when we give use with the form group we'll use form control name so if you are not really sure why I gave this or please do again check out my tutorial all right and I will need a method on key up okay because it's a search auto search so I'm going to say read value will be my method and close the so what I've done here I've created a simple div assigned a form group I'm giving it a name search form I have an input type equal to text control form name since it's inside a group and a method which is read value it's giving error because I have to implement this method by now you should be able to see read the errors and tell what exactly is happening in your code right so now if you see it will compile perfectly but we don't have the form control so we'll define that also in just a bit so so here so now we need to define the form group and the form control because we are that's what we have used it in our template okay so I'm going to say search form that's the name of the form that I've given and what is it it's a search form form group okay so search form we got it it's a form group and um, inside that I have something called form control right control save all right so now the errors are resolved because I have defined the method and I have defined the form element but instead I'm going to use a quick form builder to build this particular so form that's what it's a simple form I'm not going to do anything fancy right now I've just you I'm just using the form builder and I will build this so I'm going to here I'm going to say this dot um, should we add the I think we'll have to do that right um, so I'm going to do this dot new form group so search form is equal to this dot form builder dot um, or I can just say new form group right and inside this I can just define a simple here say new form control okay and initialize its value and say start search so this is a default value that you would see for this particular form so here what we have done is you don't need this so here I have a name which is inside this particular form which is a form group basically right it's of type form group so I'm saying new form group and assigning the value now let's check its value so see here it is saying start search right that's the default value we added to that particular form control that's all nothing else we will not do anything complicated on this for you so the idea is to use debounce time now so what we are going to do is we are going to say this dot search form dot get now we are going to get name and dot here we are going to say value changes that means it, it value changes will emit an observable right so we need to subscribe to it now I'm going to say dot pipe and now see that's where the fun begins for now I'm keeping that empty and I'm subscribing to data right usually you directly write dot subscribe but here I'm writing dot pipe because now I want to use the rxjs operators and what is the operator I'm going to sh okay let me first show you without the operator and then I will show you with operator okay that way it will be much clearer to you as to why we have to use debounce time so see here one quick time uh, let's look at the code so that you are follow what I'm doing all I have done is just put a form group and a form control to it that's all you can use template driven form also that's up to you anything remember form value changes will give us the observable the value that is being entered that's all we are trying to get here here you can do with form builder form group just form control that's also fine now here I have a search form in that I'm saying take the value of name value changes that means whenever there is a value change emit that data okay 
So let's see how this looks. I'm going to open inspect console and now start typing the data. So I'm going to type one, two, three, four, five. You see here, keep an eye in the console log and you will see all the data is printing. That's because whatever value is changing, it is printing. Now think of this use case, what I just told you. If user enters these values, you cannot, you cannot call APIs so many times. You cannot do that. It will break down. Okay. At least in most realistically applications, it will break down. Unlike you are Facebook, Google, Insta or something that's different. But for most enterprise applications, you cannot call the API so many times. So what we need to do, we need to give some time lag. And that is exactly what we will use debounce time for. Let's see that in action. So before subscribing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a pipe operator. So what does pipe do? Pipe is nothing but think of it like a pipe through which you will send some, this is your pipeline through which you will send some functions or operators, right? RxJS operators and what they will give at the end is output, which is again a observable. Okay. This is exactly what is a pipe. Okay. So dot value changes instead of dot subscribe, we are writing dot pipe here. We will write debounce time and I'm saying I'll give jet lag time of three seconds. See, this is the updated code now and save it. This is a RxJS operator I'm using inside pipe. Then after three seconds, it will then send the value. Let's see that in action. Now see, I type one, there is no entry. It is waiting. After three seconds, it is giving the value. Now I'm quickly typing two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is still no entry here. After three seconds, it will give all the values. Eight, nine, ten. Still no calls to API. Now it has made a call. So see, Earlier it was making so many calls. Now it is making only three because we have given a jet lag of using debounce time. So what exactly we did here? We are saying wait for three seconds, then take the time, then take the value and emit it. That is the beauty of debounce time. Whenever you're trying to delay or add a jet lag to your observable use debounce time operator. Okay. So if you see this operator is imported here from operators. RxJS operators. Okay. I hope this is clear. I hope this was one of the good examples to understand how um, RxJS is used with Angular applications. In the next episodes, I'll keep building on this particular example, which is in the next episode, I'm going to take you and explain you what is take um, operator. So stay tuned for that. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you do, if you like my work, please do subscribe to my channel. Also, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you so much in advance. I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying bringing it to you. Thank you. See you in the next episode.